Welcome to Cat and Raven Designs. I'm a Slytherin. And I'm a Hufflepuff. How's it going? All right. Welcome back to what is going to be the only other video for our Harry Potter inspired collection. The previous video we did was Butterbeer and you'll be able to catch that. I'll uh, put a link up in the i card there for you if you want to check it out. So this is going to be kind of a strange longer video because we realized that doing each individual Hogwarts house as its own video was going to be really repetitive and boring. And I don't want to do that. Neither do I. No. So <laughs> instead, we're going to be doing all four houses in this video. So just to kind of talk about this collection, since this is our Pride Month collection for June, and we have heard many a request for a long time now, pretty much since we started doing this for Harry Potter soaps. And we went into that more in depth in the previous video. Uh, but basically the gist of it is we haven't because of JK Rowling being a giant AstroTurf. So instead, what we're going to be doing is every bar for hey, AstroTurf is useful. True. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to get flagged. <laughs> What we're going to be doing is every bar from this collection, we will donate a dollar to Trans Lifeline, uh, which is run by and for trans people to help them out. It is divested from the police. Is her middle name Karen? Please tell me her middle name's Karen. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I've ever looked. It's probably Catherine. She's English. Yeah. Does it matter? No. It's Karen now. <laughs> but not like our Karen, like a Karen. There's a difference. There's a difference. There's there's birthed Karens, and those are cool. We like those. And then there's summoned Karens. <laughs> with the manager haircut. The Can I speak to the manager haircut? Anyway. I think she has that haircut. Kind of. So we are going to be donating money to directly support trans people if we're going to be doing a Harry Potter collection. So that is the plan as it stands, my friend. On top of that... Uh, we normally do 10% of all of our sales every month get donated to the local Sacramento LGBT Community Center. Link in the description below. But yeah, if you want to grab any of our soaps, that's always awesome. If you just want to hang out, totally cool. So, the format today, Kat, what are we doing? Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. <laughs> Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Kat Kat, you're my Huffle buddy! I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> I'm going to win. <laughs> Earlier we were talking about this is basically going to be Cat versus Raven for the first time that we've ever done on the channel and like maybe the second time ever in general. We are going to be soaping at the same time. So you will see we have two blenders. Cat is going to be soaping for her house, Slytherin. I'm going to be soaping for my house, Hufflepuff. I will be here on this side. Cat will be over here on this side. I can't guarantee this isn't going to be incredibly chaotic, but what I can guarantee is that Cat keeps making this horrible face at me whenever I'm like Cat versus Raven because this is stripes and a lot of measuring and I think I'm going to win. <laughs> I'm just not gonna measure. <laughs> it's not gonna measure. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Get back on. I that. mean, you still have to do the, the live for both of us. Yeah. All right. I don't like doing the big buckets. <laughs> That's fine. Are you otherwise prepared? Do we want to talk about our fragrances, our colors? Oh yeah, we should probably talk about both of those. Yeah. Also, which one of us is gonna get the unpleasant task of being stuck with Gryffindor? I'll take Gryffindor. <laughs> I'll take Gryffindor. Ooh. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Raven. Another no, Slytherin in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So who wants to go first? You Your me? house is full of Slytherins. I know. There's a brief Hufflepuff moment where I was like, no, I'm a Hufflepuff. My house is full of Hufflepuffs. What are you talking about? I'm like, oh, you mean my literal house. Well, for mine, for House Hufflepuff, the fragrance I'm going to be using is from Aztec Candles, and it is Chocolate Chip Cookie, which I'm cheating a little bit. We have actually done a custom loaf that was uh, Hufflepuff themed with this fragrance already. It smells divine. I really like it. And I'm going to be doing two colors, Black Iron Oxide, obviously. So my yellow is going to be Taxi Cab for Mad Micahs. And for mine, my fragrance for Slytherin is going to be this Cardamom and Star Anise. And for the colors, we're doing, for the silver, a combo of Neutral Gray 
and silver mist from nurture soap for the green we're using savage garden so i have to pour the lye and uh then we will be ready to go so i'm going to start off with mine what color are you going to do on top uh let's see i think i would like to end with yellow on top so i'm going to start with black i'm going to start with black I think I mentioned this in the last video, but I've been having a certain amount of luck by pre-mixing this a little bit by hand before I blend, which I know takes away that really pretty blend shot, but if the soap ends up prettier, it's worth it. All right, starting with black over here on the Hufflepuff side. Cat going rogue. I just matched it up to yours, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably pretty close. Shooting for 62 ounces in mine. And I'm pouring my first layer. I can't get mine positioned where it can be seen on the camera. I don't think, actually I don't think it can see most of this on the Grab camera. Grab another chair and pull a chair over. Like that's what I'm doing is I'm, I'm being able to put stuff aside on the chair over here. Mine's gonna take longer to set up than yours. I blended the shit out of it too. Oh, I'm sorry. Mine's uh, moving along. I gotta keep going. Those bakery scents, they get you every time. Usually the bakery scents go slow. I don't know, I've had real mixed performance with bakery scents. Maybe I should have picked that fragrance that had the acceleration now. <laughs> Your competitive streak coming out right now? Yes. <laughs> I can't do anything till this sets up more. <laughs> None of that. <laughs> you. See, I'm over here looking all set up, ready to go. Let's do this. So somebody always asks, at least on TikTok, I don't know about here, but uh, we use the spatula to help keep the layers from getting all damaged. This helps disperse the color as uh, we do the next layer. So, your favorite Slytherin, go. Malfoy, Draco. Malfoy. Malfoy's your favorite? Slytherins? Yeah! Merlin! <laughs> Can anyone name a Hufflepuff besides Cedric? Yeah, Hufflepuffs uh, don't make like a particularly strong appearance in the books. From the one Ravenclaw I remember from the books is Luna. As far as Slytherins go, Slughorn didn't bug me too much either. He was weird. Yeah, he was weird. But it didn't annoy me like Snape did. <gasps> I just put yellow in the black bowl! No. Fudge. Oh, is your competitive streak good? Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! I don't, I don't like that. Shut up! Yeah, it's because I'm a Hufflepuff and I was trying to make sure you had a fighting chance. Cool. Yeah. No, it's on purpose. Definitely on purpose, you know. Just your Huffle buddy over here. Oh. Why, why, why don't you want me to help you out? What's, what's up with that? Why don't you let me help you? That green looks really nice. Oh, I gotta get moving. My battery's moving. We getting thick. Thick and creamy. Oh, I think some of the gray mixed with my... in that corner. Oops. Hopefully it's just in the corner. Yeah. It, it didn't look like it had mixed with the rest. It looked like it was doing just fine for the rest of it, so... Fingers crossed. Ooh, she getting hot. She getting hot. Oh no. I can do this. You know I'm adding glitter to mine, right? You are? Yeah, just some silver hollow. Maybe I should add some of that Joan Jet Black to the top of mine. Because my top color is going to be yellow. And one thing I should maybe note that maybe is unfair in this particular uh, <laughs> competition is that I'm usually the one that does the stripes and I have been doing a lot of pride soaps for the last two weeks. So my my stripe game on point. Where I've never been that great at stripes. No matter how hard I try, <laughs> I'm not gonna do those stripes because I have to measure that. <laughs> I, I, I can't do anything straight is the problem. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> well, Kat's finishing up their last couple layers. I'm gonna add a little bit of Joan Jet Black biodegradable glitter from Mad Micah's to the top of mine. Normally I'd be spraying this on here, but 
our sprayers are a little over full. <laughs> they don't spray so good right now. Like, oh no, we got too much product. Oh no, what a tragedy. Shh. Don't let them know that they sent us so much. <laughs> they won't do it again. All right, topped it off with some sparkle sunshine from Mad Micah's. Oh, so what cat's working too here? Uh, quick thing. So what we are doing with the house soaps is that we are going to set aside a few that you can pick the house and that way you know what fragrance you're getting, that whole thing. We're also going to be having the majority of the bars listed as sorting hat bars or maybe uh, sorting cap bars or the sorting, the sorting something. We are going to package all of the soaps up in brown craft paper with a wax seal so that way you don't know what you're gonna get we won't know what you're gonna get they're all gonna be wrapped up the same so it should be really fun um, I think we'll probably do each each house will have 40 bars so we will probably do I don't know if we should do like 10 set aside that you can pick I like the idea of only 10 of them being like limited you can pick it but what if we want to do a bundle where you get to get all four Okay, well, we do a bundle of four and then set aside ten. However we manage to work it out, there'll be some of them set aside where you can pick. The majority of them will set, be set aside as sorting hat kind of situation where you just tell us how many bars you want and we just pick them. And they're all going to be all mixed up and you just get what you get. And it will probably have at least a couple of bundles set aside where you get all four. So just let us know what you're interested in since... Uh, I'm over here doing the victory lap. Cat's gonna murder me later off camera, I just know it. <laughs> Can you wait at least to kill me until after we do Gryffindor and uh, Ravenclaw? Just make you scream. <laughs> Take that how you want it. Okay. I'm in danger. Well, this, folks, is why Cat can't be trusted to do stripes. How's it going? <gasps> Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, cat, I'm sorry. Give me oh, a chopstick. Oh no. Well, guys, um, Slytherins is not gonna be stripes anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my god. Do you want me to order more fragrance and you can redo it? Uh I'll I'll let you redo it. <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> I'll redo it off camera. We'll just, uh, we'll have a whoopsie badge for Slytherin. <laughs> oh my god. I was, I was so close. I had almost accomplished the stripes. Oh, you were really close. You were doing really good too. And I was like, you brave mother, <gasps> look at you go. Uh, it's got a pretty textured top now. That's nice. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun. It'll be pretty. It'll be like, uh... It'll be fine. You all right? Give me the hollow. Give me all the glitter. Okay. <laughs> I'm requesting glitter. Don't close the cabinet until I've uh, requested into the mystic. Rookie mistake there. Yeah. Sorry. I'm so sorry. You were doing really well. You were going to kill it. Yes, I was. It's going to be one of the few times that I have up stripes. Your poor stripies. You know, a lot of people in the soaping community talk about like things that they're terrified will happen and i feel like early on we were worried about things like forgetting the fragrance oil or messing up the formulation now we worry about things like dropping the whole bucket in the soap or dropping like an entire loaf down the stairs or you remember that one time when you knocked over the whole bucket uh, of oils yeah that was pretty horrifying or the time i knocked over the fragrance oil bottle yes yeah no, we worry about stuff like that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna perform a brief feat of magic here. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. And uh, we are going to magically switch houses. So just a moment here, here we go. Ta-da! We're back, cleaned up and ready for round two. This time, I will be taking Ravenclaw. Yeah, I know earlier we said she was doing Gryffindor, but then I remembered which fragrance oil was Ravenclaw's. <laughs> 
<laughs> she thinks she's going to game the system. What do you got? I've got Gryffindor. For Ravenclaw, I'm going to be using Library, which is the same fragrance that we used on the Bernadette Banner soap. For my colorants, I'm going to be using Blue Vibrance and Neutral Gray. For Gryffindor, fragrance is going to be Peppercorn Pomander. And for the red, we've got Trial by Fire from Nurture Soap and Always a Bridesmaid from Mad Micah's. And for the yellow, I decided to go more golden. And so we got Shimmer Gold from Nurture Soap and Sahara Gold from Nurture Soap. Are you ready for round two? Put the lion. Cat versus baby. Round two. We don't start until right. after the lies in both. How about this time we'll do your lie first so we're fair. If it were not painfully obvious, Cat is competitive. So am I. But I think Cat might be more aggressively competitive than I am. A few moments later. What is, did you not plug me in? Did you not plug did you, you in? Did you only plug you in? Cheating. I didn't cheat. I thought you plugged yourself in. I get gloves, I get two. I get hair nets, I get two. <laughs> I heat up both oils. You go and plug in <laughs> one blender. What is this treachery? I think I might be effed. <laughs> I think they're gonna win. Oh no! Yours is all set up and ready to go! <laughs> <laughs> nice thick trace going. Why well, Gryffindors always gotta be rushing everywhere? Calm down, Gryffindor. Yes, keep rushing, Gryffindor, because <laughs> the only reason I like you right now is because I'm winning! <laughs> Where was my fragrance oil that I had right here? I don't know. I will grab your tits. <laughs> I don't have it! There it is. You ever get this distinct feeling that cat's out to get me? Cat's like, that would be really great. Me, Winnie. Yes. <laughs> well, my first layer is still not set up. So there's that. My second layer is set up. <laughs> so there's that. I don't, I don't need your, your pity blends. <laughs> oh no, just so that I actually have time to like Mix up my next layer colors. All right, well, I'm two layers in. How, how you doing over there, cat? I'm just pouring my third layer. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> my turn to win this time. <laughs> Apparently. I've been played. Oh, would you look at that? Hmm. Yep, you're done. I get it. <laughs> Congratulations. How did that happen? You're, <laughs> you're welcome. For what? For making your butt yes. Oh, now you're helping me. Now you're not gonna just leave me to fend for myself. Well, yeah. <laughs> One. <laughs> now we can be friends again. <laughs> <laughs> you knew this about me. <laughs> can I get that alcohol, please? Sure. I guess. <laughs> and the wild raven attempts to pour her final layer. Oh. <laughs> See the unsuspecting gray as she prepares the blue. <laughs> Do you need to get your starter checked there? <laughs> I'm like scared of this last layer. Like, don't drop it. Don't drop it. You've given me a whole new nightmare. <laughs> Only the nightmare is real. Oh, uh you should have you should have seen what was going through my head as I was pouring the last two layers on this one. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Don't you Don't you dare slip out of my hand, you mother It tried. Did it really? Yeah. So sorry. And I guarantee you those lines ain't like straight straight. I can't do anything straight. <laughs> no matter how hard I try. 
You keep pushing me aside and I can't break through. Though is there such a thing as too much share? I don't know. Scientifically, I don't know if it can be proven. Many have tried, many have failed. Cause like one of my go-to songs for karaoke mm -hmm. is a share song. The second one is Madonna. Raven limping into the finish line. All right, well. Now that these last two of the house loaves are poured, we're gonna let everything set up for about 24 hours and we will come back in just a minute to split the loaves down into bars. So if there's an ad with YouTube available, we're gonna let that run and we will be right back. Goodbye. We are ready to start splitting some house loaves. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. You ready? Yeah. Montage mode, here we go. And with that, we have our finished Hogwarts Houses bars. Uh, I think we might just call this sorting hat. I'm not sure. But they are looking very stripy, very Hogwarts, very happy with them. Um, so that's Kat's unfortunate bars in the back there. <laughs> and this is how we're going to be packaging them. They're going to come in brown craft paper with a Hogwarts seal. So we did not buy officially licensed merch. This is just sort of a, a knockoff uh, wax seal stamp for Hogwarts. <laughs> like it's not the most accurate. It's a little bit blurry, but that's okay. You get the idea. Uh, so for the random ones, you will not know which one you're going to get. Uh, for the ones that you pick out, we will label them on the front, but they'll still have this neat packaging with the ingredients on the back here. So they are looking awesome. They've been curing for a little while already, and they are retaining their color really nicely. Very happy with that. Uh, Cats, Misfit, Slytherin Bars did some weird stuff. <laughs> This is one of the ones where the bucket actually hit the middle and there was some uncolored soap on the edge of the bucket that did this weird thing in this circle all the way around <laughs> where the bucket hit. So I don't know quite what happened there. This green, even though it's the same green as this one and the same green as these over here, somehow gelled in the middle. We're, we're very unsure exactly what happened with this, but uh, yeah. So these will be available as misfits. Sorry, we really only have misfits for Slytherin. All the other houses came out just fine. So these will be available on June 25th, which is a Friday, the last Friday of June at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And as usual, 10% of all of our sales of everything in our store is donated to the Sacramento LGBT Community Center at the end of the month. And specifically, $1 from every one of the house bars, as well as $1 from every one of the butterbeer bars, will be going to support the Trans Lifeline. So, take that, Joanne. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Turf. <laughs> All right, so that's it for our Hogwarts-inspired collection. I know it's only two videos, but it is a total of five subs just spread out across two videos. So we will see you for one more video before launch, and then launch will be on Friday the 25th. So this is your hydration reminder, your kind request to go have a snack if you need one, and we will see you for the next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.